Hello people! Welcome back to my channel! I hope you're doing fine today! If you want to see everything about my fall favorites, and it's gonna be a lot of hours, but you know, all the little greedy greedy about it, keep on watching because it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be nice, and it's gonna be, as usual, not boring at all! Keep on watching, I'll see you! But you are gone, I just wanna be with ya Please don't get Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. is the time every single week and I love fashion in general so if you want to see a lot of really fashion fun related things a lot of dancing, a lot of cray cray me, you know subscribe to my channel, it's free enjoy it and of course click on the notification button so that you can know whenever my videos are out really try to just upload them more and more and more Without further ado, let's get to it. A lot of hats because I've been having a lot of great, great thing for hats lately. So the first thing is gonna be, oops, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Barret type of shape. You can find it more and more at Zara right now. I found another one which was red and it was this one. The red color for me is just a great for form. It's like, I think it's better to just stay away from everything too dark still gonna be there more and more because we're going towards winter but i think for fall it's still the lighter the brownish the red everything around it cited in my first video of the week how to size sweaters if you haven't seen it the link is gonna be right down below so check it out it's a lot of fun of course and a lot of inspiration when it comes to it the cutest one it's red it's a deep pop red have something classic let's say a jean and a t-shirt for example have it with it and have some sneakers and a really nice black bag as well and i'm telling you it's just not too much still gonna be trendy and fashionista related so it's just my little hack and trip and tip and trick here so the third one is gonna be this one it's just i don't know how i look like with that thing i think right i think it's i always try to find it just middle when it comes to this thing but i think it's like that cute 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 i've been wearing it so many times it's us for my birthday you know little details here really bring a lot of edginess to the hat itself and edginess to the outfit as well you can combine it with any other color because it's black sky's the limit when it comes to it everything is gonna be down below of course as usual so check it out you're not gonna regret this, of course. We're gonna get to some little bags that I think will just amazing when it comes to fall. And this one, <laughs> Zara. You probably have seen it if you saw my pictures on Instagram and my stories. I go to when it comes to every single outfit, or almost. It's a beaded bag. The bag is black, but with the beaded elements to it, it gives a lot more visual appeal to the outfit. So it can be all black with the texture so if it's a non-black type of outfit that you're looking for of course playing with the textures are the best so it'd be a really nice touch to the outfit a nice fun accessory so definitely invest in that kind of accent touch type of bag the second one that i'm gonna show you it's one that i recently bought actually from zara and this one <laughs> I should do that on my first video of this week as well. $39.90 Canadian dollars. I really wanted to kind of include a lot more animal prints to the wardrobe because I think it's a nice touch. This one was a great store when it comes to accessories. And it's a lot more subtle and you're gonna like it more because it's gonna be easier to integrate it in your wardrobe. You can have a scarf, you can have a bag, you can have the shoes. It's gonna be a touch. It's not gonna be the touch. <laughs> It's not expensive, go for it. <laughs> the one which is a little bit more trendier or much more, well, it's much more rounder. <laughs> it's gonna be round bag from my mom because it was a birthday gift. I think it's a nice, classy, sophisticated touch. A crocodile, crocodile, crocodile half of skin. You got the idea. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Oops. Now we're gonna get to the boots. The first boot that I'm gonna show you that I showed you a couple of days, weeks ago. This one's my white pair of boots. A really big video on how to style boots and especially booties for petite 
not so tall girls like me so check out the video it's gonna be in the description down below as well not everybody is gonna be convinced by it but I'm telling you guys I went with a lot of outfits I did it with so many outfits that it's almost normal to me to have white boots only I got to that point in my life where I thought white boots was just the best it was from misguided and it's a great quality because I've had it for over a year now. So second pair of boots that I love for fall is these ones. I showed you that on my videos again how to style boots. Cowboy type of looking and it's they are openings on both sides. It's not super cold yet so you can get away with everything not much covered you know so especially if you don't live in Canada right now you even look here than I am because it's starting to get a little bit a lot more color compared to probably some countries right now but it's from misguided as well the last pair of boots that I will show to you is gonna be these ones they are really nice in terms of the shape of it it's different from everything that we've seen so far amazing to work around as much as you want and I've done it they were $49.90 Canadian dollars from Zara now you know my favorite part we're gonna get to the other wear for fall so the first one that I'm gonna show you it's this one <laughs> It's a bomber jacket and it's from Zara. I recently got it. I'm not a bomber jacket type of girl. I don't think it's ugly. I don't think that I'm really against it. I just think that I never thought about styling them. But again, they are really great and nice middle when it's not super cold because it's more lighter in terms of like fabric because it's fall still. Just not something that you're gonna see everywhere. It's much more sporty looking. But with these prints, I think it just brings a bit more of classiness and chicness to the outfit. Combination of the two of them just make this really nice baby, you know. Put the linking down in the description back below as usual. The one is this one. I can't stress that enough and I think I said it much more than actually needed. So I'm just gonna stress it again. I love being edgy. Last year when it was on sale, the studs, you have the suede, you have the brownish shade of it. Great for fall, still lighter and much more thicker and even heavier. Probably because of the stud of course. One is gonna be this one. Be white and now I'm much more darker but it's okay, you know. I can live with it. Nobody is gonna die because of it. A lot of fur and whatever going on so it's not for everybody again. Much more lighter. It gets to zero degrees Celsius, maybe not as much because you're gonna have eyes on you with that. The next one, this one. I bought it from ASOS but it was from River Island. I wore it uh, so many types of way. Here it is a little bit leatherish here but all much more black and much more softer. I really love the gold details. It's something that you can wear everywhere pretty much because it's never really out of style to be honest. I love being trendy yet I love having pieces that I know I can wear again and again and again without worrying to just being out of style, you know. <laughs> Last pair of outerwear is... I have this one that you probably saw on some of my pictures. Zara still has it, they are more classy, it's not a biker jacket, it's not a bomber jacket, it's something that you can wear because you want to go wear much more sophisticated, if you're much more on the classier type of vibe, much more chic type of vibe, color the pink is amazing, kind of shade of pink that goes well with most skin tones because it's easy, it's not too warm, it's not too cold, it's not too dark. You can style it with pretty much every type of color. Pair with something blue, something white, something red even, something gray. You can go a lot with it. Small street style and have it paired with. The most easier one is to go from something basic, something simple and this one of the sleeves are more like baloney it was 59.90 canadian dollars the budget and you don't want to have to invest in a lot of sweaters because you don't need to buy a lot of sweaters to be honest with something not printed maybe black or light of both of them and then from that you can do a lot of different types of look i'm just saying the other thing that i'm gonna show you is some nice lingerie dress from zara 
as well. Love this brown. It's like a melting chocolate. It's amazing. This is a lingerie dress inspired. Of course, it's much lighter, so you want to have a sweater on top of it if you can. Or you have a really nice jacket, but something much more warmer. That, for example, because it's black and gold, and this one is a little bit black because of the lace and brown as well. Put them together and well balanced because black goes with pretty much everything, especially if it's dark like that. The brown is gonna be a nice pop of color, and because the fabric is a little bit more shinier, it's gonna be even more. Really nice way to pair it with, really nice idea to have it with and you can have heels or you can have boots but neutral boots because of the gold details. Now let's get to some bottoms that I've been liking and loving for fall lately. The first is gonna be leather, leather, leather shorts. Because it's simple, it's a little bit warm, not too much and it's a short. So I'm just gonna stick to this one because I'm telling you I have a pile, literally a pile of leather short skirt. Yeah, Zara I bought it for sales a couple of months ago. Again, here is something else that's never gonna go out of trend. You can pair it with something much more trendier like this bomber jacket. You can do it, you can kill it. If you're a student, it's definitely a nice outfit when you go to university or when you go to school. A little bit older, it's definitely doable as well if you want to go have nice drinks with your friend or if you even go to work and it's not corporate environmental related because I would go to work like that. The other one, this skirt from Vero Moda. It's right around your waist area, so it's just a cute. The visual is amazing. It's a little bit shining, but not too much. Maybe the other wear or the coat can be something different. And this one, it's a really, really nice way to just complement the green and then have something, some other color to it. Sweet pink goes well with mostly everything. Great combination, they are not against each other as much, but it's a nice contrast to them. You can have a white top with it, I think it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be cute, so definitely would suggest it. The last skirt that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this one from Zara again. There's a couple of buttons in the back with a slit, I think it's so sexy, so different. Love the prints, it's striped, 80s type of vibe again pencil just it goes really well with your shape so it's all cute feminine you can have it for a really nice date really nice rendezvous or you know everything you want really this cut again would be really nice with this skirt i love the contrast of them there's a print here so again in the middle you can have something white again or you can have something even gray this top from Zara. It was for spring and it's definitely great for fall. Lighter color, all white. You can have it with this green fur jacket. White on white to me it just screams elegance yet really edgy because of the style of the jacket. Elegance, edgy type of vibe going on here. You know I'm all about that. And it could be this later short. I think it's gonna be cute because there you have a big contrast. You have the black and the white. You play with the color, but yet you play with the texture, so you have all the combination here. You can have it pair with something else for the bottom, and it could be the green skirt as the bottom. I think it's just another way to just like pair a lot of nice color elements with without having it screaming at people around you. So, But it's gonna be sort of with the colors, because you have a statement jacket, right? Another great skirt could be that one. I totally bought it at Zara. It's green, still in the same style as the green one, but much more longer. A really big belt to it. Just gonna do it all, you know? I think that was about it for my fall favorites. I hope you liked it. Just definitely let me know what was your favorite, what are your fall favorites, and if you do have one, definitely share them with me because I'm really interested and really intrigued to know it and know more about it. Have any idea of what I can do for you here on this channel, what you want to see more in terms of like styling advice, lookbook or everything like that, just let me know what you want to do. Free consultation to people, so my email is gonna be down below. Just reach out to me and we're gonna start from there. For social media, my email is gonna be down below. I have a make-a-wish services and I have a website for it, so everything is gonna be down below. First of all, the first step is gonna have a 
consultation and that one is free so you don't need to do anything on through Skype, FaceTime, don't need to live in Canada. I'm gonna see you guys for my next video next week and as I say all the time, smile because it's free. Bye. Salut les amis, j'espère que vous avez adoré ma vidéo, j'espère que vous avez aimé ma vidéo, je vous donnais des conseils relatifs à mes favoris quand on en vient à l'automne et je vous ai un petit peu montré comment est-ce que vous pouvez associer certaines pièces c'est ce que j'adore faire, c'est ma passion donc si vous avez des questions je donne et fais des consultations gratuites avec Skype, FaceTime tout est possible dans le monde aujourd'hui parce que la technologie est faite pour ça donc si vous avez des questions je les donne en français en anglais, en français je suis disponible, l'adresse email va être en bas pour toute question relative à ça puis à comme d'habitude et comme je l'ai dit toujours, passez un super beau week-end, profitez du temps, profitez de l'automne, puis je vous revois la semaine prochaine. Et vous parce que bah, c'est gratuit. Bye.